Hello, my beautiful Libras. My name is Jennifer from JenniferWalkerZen.com, here to bring you your weekly forecast for August 18th to the 24th. Guys, thank you so much for liking and subscribing. This is going to be your day-to-day -day as well as your overall. And it's going to be for singles, couples, or anyone in between, or anyone who needs love messages. And if you'd like a personal reading with me, um, you can go to my website, JenniferWalkerZen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, let's jump right in. What's going on my Libra's romantic love life? Or apparently it just wants to come out as Ten of Cups. You're really happy. What's going on my Libra's romantic love life for the 18th, the 19th, the 20th, the 21st, the 22nd, the 23rd, and the 24th, please? Show me cards you need to see. Show me cards you need to see. Okay. What's going on my Libra's romantic love life for the 18th, the 19th, the 20th, the 21st, the 22nd, the 23rd, and the 24th, please? What's going on my Libra's romantic love life for the 18th, the 19th, the 20th, the 21st, the 22nd, the 23rd, excuse me. What's going on my Libra's love interest romantic love life for the 18th, the 19th, the 20th, the 21st, the 22nd, and the 23rd, and the 24th, please? All right, good. We're good to go now. So on the 18th, you are going to get your wish and your hope. So in your energy here, you have the Eight of Pentacles, something to do with school, work, apprenticeship here, something to do with a repetitive task, something that's going to be harvested here because we have the siphon here, right? Something sudden is going to be harvested pertaining to your wish here in your romantic love life. The person you're dealing with or your love interest is coming out as true love. So they may see you as potential for true love, new love here with the Ace of Cups energy. And the, on the 19th, you're going to have prosperity here, okay? So Spirit is letting you know it's going to be very uh, a prosperous situation for you financially. And it looks like you've decided the Eight of Cups energy to either walk away from something physically or to mentally walk away from something with the Eight of Cups energy. Your love interest is having the Knight of Swords energy, which is something to do with a cutting energy, cutting something away, or some kind of argument here with the Knight of Swords energy. Can't, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Um, well, on the 20th, it looks like you're going to have some kind of new beginnings and fresh starts. So basically, Spirit is saying there's going to be some kind of new beginnings here for pertaining to your romantic love life. But you feel like your energy is coming out as the Seven of Swords. I think that you feel like, it's well, there's got to be something not quite right here. Let me get to the bottom of this. But Spirit is saying, look, there's going to be new beginnings here. This is on the 20th. And your love interest is feeling like they don't want to face their thoughts here with the Eight of Swords energy. They're not trying to face their thoughts. They're not trying to face reality here pertaining to their romantic love life. Maybe that's also why you feel like there's a Seven of Swords energy, like something's not quite right here. Something's deceptive here. Uh, Spirit is telling you have courage on this day of the 21st. You're coming out as the King of Cups energy. You're trying to make wise choices. You're taking a leadership role. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And um, you're being wise when it comes to your uh, love life here with the King of Cups energy. Your love interest of the person you're dealing with is coming out as the chariot card. So they're taking charge to be victorious as well. So it's like an energy of both of you are taking leadership roles and pertaining to your love life here. And that was on the 21st. On the 22nd, uh, Spirit is telling you to watch out for symbols, signs, watch your dreams. You know, anything that you may feel like you need to be aware of, write it down or be aware of it, okay? Um, it looks like you're coming out with the Ten of Swords. It feels like something to do with you maybe feeling like you're backstabbed here or you're feeling hurt here or you're wanting to, to end something, to start something new again. We're coming to a Tens. Even your love interest is having the Three of Swords energy. They're feeling a lot of heartache as well here on this day of the 22nd. You know, watch out for this day. So Spirit is saying, um, watch out for symbols, signs from them, okay, about, you know, what, what uh, they want to give you some kind of message on this day, okay, pertaining to this. On the 23rd, you have the Wisdom card. So just be wise in your decision making. It looks like you're coming out as the Two of Cups energy, something to do with soulmate connection here, okay? Some soulmate connection here with the Two of Cups energy. You're going to have to make a choice with your heart, okay? And your love interest is taking some time out to really think and contemplate things. They're coming out as the Virgo energy, the Hermit card. So they're really taking the time out. They're really contemplating. They're really soul searching here when it comes to their romantic love life. 
And now we got uh, the 24th. There's going to be a little bit of challenges on this day. Okay, on the 24th, it's going to be some challenges. There's a page of swords coming out. Younger air sign person, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, or it's something to do with uh, someone feeling that someone's immature here or someone's trying to gain perspective on something. And your love interest of the person that you're dealing with is coming out as the seven of pentacles energy. So it's like they feel like they put a lot of work in and they just want to see how things are going to play out. And they've been like kind of patient here when it comes to their romantic love life. All right, let's check out, look at you guys overall. Let's take a look at this. All right, give me a moment while I get this out of the way and then shuffle here. All right, what's going on my Libra's romantic love life for the 18th to the 24th? What's going on my Libra's romantic love life for the 18th to the 24th? 18th to the 24th. 18th to the 24th. Okay. Squirrel has caught my eye in the window there. <laughs> it's like looking at me. <laughs> All right, let's go to my Libra's romantic love life for August 18th to the 24th. Let's go to my Libra's romantic love life for August 18th to the 24th. Okay, so you have the energy or the person you're dealing with has the energy of feeling like your hands are tied here between the situation. All you have to do is just look around to notice that there's a beautiful scenery. You don't have to feel like your hands are tied here. This is just in your mind. It's not really a, a, a situation where your hands are tied. Um, the norm is saying it's because of something to do with arguments or dispute or something repetitive here. Um, we did see the eight of pentacles. Maybe there's something to do with some kind of repetitive task or something to do with a job here that maybe you feel make you feel like your hands are tied here between your romantic love life, but something repetitive or some kind of arguments or disputes is making someone feel like their hands are tied here. Um, okay, so the block, it seems to be a choice or a soulmate connection and something to do with maybe something secret here with the letter card or a message pertaining to a soulmate connection or choice here. So your strength is to uh, is start working over getting over something that you were hurt about okay coming out of that with the ten of swords energy and the passion card or the lilies card can represent passion also can represent something for a long time so it's been going on for a long time it's time to get over this hurt and pain here okay pertaining to possibly the passion um so in the past gemini libra aquarius energy or something to do with immature energy and the, the snake card can represent something to do with backbiting here or something to do with immature, you know, speaking or talking here or something that wasn't quite right pertaining to this situation. So actually the person coming towards you, you're going to have a recognized victory because there's a message here, okay, from a person. So you're going to get a recognized victory. There's going to be a message from a person and it's it's gonna you're gonna feel like i'm right because uh usually what happens is with the six of wands situation is it's basically when someone has a fight someone wants to be right so it's like you're going to get a recognized victory someone here is getting a recognized victory because someone feels like they're right and because there was something to do with a message here or a secret because obviously the letter card could be a message or a secret but there's a recognized victory here pertaining to you in the immediate outcome here, we have the Three of Cups energy. So you could be getting this recognized victory while you're hanging out here with the Three of Cups energy. Maybe you're hanging out with friends here with the Three of Cups energy. The birds does represent its communication. So something to do with talking, communicating, it's going to give you some kind of recognized victory here with the person coming towards you. Okay, so if there is a person coming towards you, it's gonna be a recognized victory. They could be from your friendship circle too here, okay, with the Three of Cups energy. Um, or you could have more than one option here because there's multiple people on this card or it's just someone that you may be hanging out with and you're going to get a recognized victory and a message about it and they're going to talk to you about it with the owls card the subconscious is saying uh that you maybe you want some new path and passion or you want a message of passion or you want a younger a fire sign person here you said sherry's leo and you kind of feel like something's blocked there 
Okay, maybe you feel like something's blocked there in your subconscious pertaining to that situation. And the influence here is the Queen of Swords energy, which is something to do with thinking with your head over your heart and telling it like it is. And also we're getting something to do with vicious. They could be money. They could be influencing the situation. It could be a flow of emotions. Maybe the problem is someone's thinking with their head and their over their not with their heart, and that's preventing the flow of emotions here pertaining to the situation. So um, your, your hopes and fears here is to gain some kind of strength or courage pertaining to something to do with isolation or uh, maybe pertaining to a blockage here with this tower card. So let's see the outcome here. Ah, messages, I said that. So the outcome also says messages, which you're gonna be successful on, but it looks like because of the fact that there's the you know, crossroads there, it's gonna be a little bit of an indecision of which way to go there. But you're going to be successful in your outcome here. Um, and it looks like you're going to hold on to something for short success pertaining to a new opportunity and a fresh start. So if it, this is not someone new, it is a, a uh, fresh start with somebody. If this is not a situation like that, then this is brand new, okay? So it's going to be some kind of message. You're going to hold on to somebody for a new start, fresh opportunity. And it looks like it's going to go into something long-term here. Something long-term here with the uh, Knight of Pentacles energy. Yeah, because I have the house and family. So something to do with the house and family here. So with the Knight of Pentacles, keep in mind, someone's going to take their time. You know, it's going to go slow. But yeah, something to do with you're going to be successful when it comes to messages uh, with the key card. That definitely represents success. I mean, that's a good card. And communication, fast moving communication pertaining to something to holding on to someone for a short success for pentacles and uh, with the child card, either this is brand new or it's just a fresh start with someone. And it looks like it's going to go into some kind of long term commitment with the house card here. So let me get some advice for you, Libra. Can I have some advice for my Libras for the romantic love life for the 18th of August to the 24th? Show my card and you see, show my card and you see, show my card and you to see. Wow past life relationship you have known each other before holy crap oh my god jesus so uh your advice is past life relationship you've known each other before wow libra this is a uh, this is uh pretty good here all right guys let me know what's going on in the comments below i love you guys so much if you like this please like and subscribe and of course if you would like your own personal reading go to my website jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below. I love you guys so much. Have a great week.